Cheers. I got my juice. I got myself. And I wanted to make a video. I'm looking a little rough, right? But I wanted to make the video like this so that I could display my true self, where I've been and like what I've been <sighs> what what I've been going through. Um which I've made some videos before, but like not as in depth and like also like during a time where I was like really lost still and like I'm not saying that I'm I'm like where I, I want to be but I feel like I'm starting to get back on track to where I, I need to be and I just wanted to talk about it because I feel like some people some people need to hear it you know like I know that social media is a place where a lot goes on there's a lot going on on social media and some of it's good some of it's bad um, for me personally I I I go on sometimes now but I I actually practice like logging out um, trying to stay off of it as much as possible trying to um, stay away from it but not completely I don't think it's like the devil or anything like that but um, I'll get to that later, like what I've been doing to try to like better myself um, and get better because it's been a journey, okay? I've been on a journey. I've been on a journey for like six or seven months um, and it started with me having surgery. Honestly, it started before that. Let's be real. This journey has started from the time that I came into existence, Earth when I was born, okay? And that's all of us. Um, and I'm realizing a lot, and it's like almost like a spiritual experience for me, which I go through phases of being like connected spiritually, and then when I get into like really depressed episodes, I kind of lose touch with that. And then when I come back, it's almost like, whoa, this was all part of the spiritual experience. Like, I had to endure that to become stronger to become wiser to gain some type of knowledge that like you lose it you feel like your guidance or whatever was making you feel so at peace and strong has like abandoned you and that you're just floating like a leaf in the wind just in, in some weird sketchy alleyway in the dark in the cold your soul it's lost it's just like what the fuck like and you lose touch with yourself you lose touch with the outside world you lose touch with your spiritual side and everything it's just like i'm all over the place already in this video um but i'm just like letting it flow because i didn't write a list or anything i just came into it with an open mind to say what whatever i felt like i needed to say because i feel like there's somebody that needs to hear it um but I I really went through the worst, the hardest, the darkest, the, the scariest mental health crisis I've ever had in my whole life the last like six months. And I'm currently like, it's weird because I feel like, I feel like it's lifting a little bit. It's like, it's not like every day is good and every moment is good and I'm just magically better and I'm not taking any medication like I thought there for a second I was like I don't want to get on medication I don't want to be medicated like I'm completely sober now um that's all part of like this whole process but I don't I'm not taking anything I'm doing this on my own which I with that being said is like that's something that I chose that I feel like it's working out for me, but some people might, it might not, you know, some people might need that little bit of help just to get their brain chemicals back on track or whatever, because I've been there too. Like I was diagnosed in middle school with major depressive disorder, generalized anxiety disorder, OCD, and along the way, <laughs> I feel like I've developed a lot of like trauma, had some traumatic experiences, so I might even say PTSD 
to kind of combine some of those together um, because I think a lot of it is related to trauma to begin with. Um, also, I feel like I've developed body image disorders. Like, I don't even know. Like, I feel like I've gone through times of having disordered eating. Definitely going, gone through like a disordered image of myself, body dysmorphia, whatever you want to call it. Like, that has been a major one that has kept me from a lot in my life. Um, and it's taken me to great lengths. Um, like, as far as all the plastic surgery I've gotten, and I think that that all stems from that. Like, and I think that it's, it's so crazy because you see these beautiful women, beautiful men, and it's like some of those people that like seem to have it all like and they're they're just like so beautiful to you and like the ideal are probably some of the most insecure people out there that struggle like really struggle and that's like why they do so much to try to be worthy or to feel good enough about themselves even people that are like in the gym a lot like and going to the gym is good there's a healthy balance but I'm just saying like I've experienced it. I know firsthand that this is like something that is an internal thing that like I beat myself up. Like, anyway. Anyway, with all of that being said, I am a cocktail of dysfunction. I have a lot going on mentally um, throughout my life. Just periodically I'd get really really bad usually it would be after something major would happen a, a life changing or some type of crisis would go down and then boom I'd be back into the mix I'd just be like fucked up and then I would come through I would come out of it and this has happened like maybe like three four times in my life where I got really really bad and then I came out um, but this time this time it it was kind of like a really weird series of events um and i really didn't know what was going on and like i said earlier it was the worst the scariest the i was confused i didn't even think that i was having a mental problem i thought that i was dying i thought that there was something physically wrong with me um because it just got to that point where my body started to tell me things like and I was in and out of doctors I couldn't find anything wrong with me I was I was determined to find the answer um, because I thought that there was something wrong with me like and more than just me having like a really depressed episode like a major depressive episode or whatever you want to call it um, it just got really weird and it felt like it was like a weird spiritual experience as well and I just wanted to talk about it because I said just like a whole lot and it's like eight minutes now but like um, basically I feel like this time it began with well I went through like a separation my whole life got flipped over on me last year um, I won't go into too much detail about that, but that definitely traumatized me. I felt really betrayed. I felt like I honestly just lost, very lost, very lost about my own identity, very lost about what my life was supposed to be. And I had to like pick myself up and I had to run. I had to go. It was like fight or flight and I was like flight, okay? I'm going to do what I got to do to get myself back on track. And that's what I did. I I got my life together. I spent like the whole year like just working and doing this and doing that and and getting my life together and I moved to a new city and and I was like staying strong and very distracted. Very distracted. I was partying quite a bit. I I was smoking weed all the time, so like Honestly, everything seemed pretty good at that time. Like, I was like, you know, I'm handling this a lot better than what I thought. And, and I was like, 
borderline though because I would like come to these little points. I thought that I was like also kind of going through like a spiritual awakening at that time because I felt like something was shifting in me or changing in me and presenting to me and it seemed like it wasn't like I was choosing it. It was choosing me. It was shifting my perspective. It was changing my view on life as a whole and people and myself and and everything and it was like at first it was like whoa i see everything in a different way and this is amazing and this is cool and i was like actually doing i thought that i was doing pretty well right like i thought that i was off to a good start and i was like i'm going to i'm going to do well but there was times periodically during this this phase of like upheaval like me transitioning and getting back on track and trying to like form a new life for myself that I got like really just like would sit there on my new couch in my new apartment with all my nice new things and cry and just be like wow this wasn't the answer like I chase things I get these things and it doesn't do anything for me it's not sustaining me it's not fulfilling me it's i have all these people around me but it's not doing it for me i still feel lost i still feel unsure of myself and then i would have these moments and then i would like like yeah just like push that aside sweep that one under the rug and like let's just keep going and i was like going so hard and so fast i was I look at it now it was like a lot of chaos like I barely ever sat still because I was just like almost afraid to do it because I didn't want to be in my head like so I kept myself going 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 all the time I was working out in the gym all the time which is not a bad thing but I wasn't giving myself any rest at all um, I was going to work all the time working night shift and that was like you know I was making money and that was good but outside of that I was like socializing to like the highest degree like I just like never wanted to be alone I never could be alone I I was like probably like just like overdoing it in every way like not that any of those things are bad it's just like I was doing it to the max of everything and never taking any time to like decompress or like sort through my trauma that like I still had that I was just like convinced it was all good and where things started to turn was I got another surgery I got my implants replaced and that put some level of stress on my body I've gone through like five surgeries in the last two years for body dysmorphia <laughs> problems with my self-esteem uh, and it's an addiction it's a problem but anyway I went through another I went through another surgery had that had to go through that recovery I was smoking weed a lot like I said and at some point like something happened with my brain where I had like a, a panic attack when I smoked and I could never smoke ever again like I just couldn't I tested the waters and that shit just fucked me up like so that was like one of my main coping mechanisms at that time and I kind of like just had to let it go because I couldn't smoke anymore I was having anxiety like really bad I was tripping I was tripping on the way to the gym on the way to wherever I was going because I was smoking all the time that like I would just be like doing it before anything going to work going to the gym going to anywhere like I, I it was just normal and my tolerance was built up enough so like it didn't uh, impact me but like one day I literally started tripping and I was trying to function and it just freaked me out so much and I was like I can't do this anymore so I had to give up the, the weed and and then that's when everything just went downhill like <sighs> so I I don't know I thought that it was my breast implants because it was like right after that 
the things started to shift I started to notice things happening with my body with my mind and I went through another surgery and got them taken out because I just didn't want them in my body I felt like that they were causing all of this these issues for me right and and then I got them taken out and the issues continued and they continued and they continued but I don't regret taking them out I feel like there was something to it there's a lot of women that, that get breast implants and develop like mental health issues or a lot of physical issues and and I feel like for whatever reason that whether it was due to the implants or not or if it was just a coincidence or it was just how the timeline added up I feel like I was meant to get them taken out like they weren't supposed to be in my body it was a step in the right direction for me even though it was like a hard loss um, it was meant to happen but anyway um, I I was convinced I once I get them taken out I'm gonna be better and I felt like I was dying like I felt like I was having all of these physical symptoms I felt dizzy lightheaded all the time my vision was like blurry and I would have these heart palpitations and everything and I was like I've had anxiety this isn't anxiety I've had anxiety before and it got to the point where like I believe that I had a, like a physical problem I thought that I had cancer or that I was dying like I really felt like I was dying and all along with all of this I felt like I couldn't escape it and I got really really depressed and I was like I was planning to kill myself like I really I really was planning to end my life I wrote letters to all my loved ones I have videos on my phone basically for the last six months just crying like so many sad moments um, of me just feeling like I was losing myself. I didn't know what was going on. Um, There's a lot of physical symptoms, but like there definitely was a lot of mental problems too, where I felt like, I was like, am I, have, am I going through dementia or something? Is there something wrong with my brain? Why do I feel like just like a, ding, 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 like I felt like, I couldn't think, I couldn't focus, I would have like these lags, <laughs> like my mental was just like, I couldn't focus, I get like overstimulated really easily, I started to withdraw a lot, um, and I was just terrified all the time, like I just felt like there was like a sense of doom all the time, and I noticed like my emotions like I could feel all the bad emotions but like I couldn't get excited about anything like it felt like I was shut off from my own life from my own and I wanted to live but I felt like I didn't have that option I felt like I didn't have any drive in me any motivation I felt scared I felt like I was having a a terminal illness that nobody could figure out what was going on and I thought that I was gonna die in my sleep like I felt like this must be what somebody feels like when they're about to die um, because I felt like I was losing and I look at it now like it was physical but your mind and your body are connected I felt a lot of physical pain in my body my joints always sore I felt weak and my muscles I always felt tired I got to the point where I couldn't sleep I look at it now it was like yeah you were having a mental health crisis but it was so bad and it was it went on for so long without me even understanding what was going on that it was like manifesting physically in my body and I wasn't I wasn't getting down to the root or or even acknowledging that I was dealing with a depression because I was so focused on figuring out why I felt the physical pain and I thought I was dying that's all I can say like I felt really lost confused I felt like it got to the point where 
I would have like these anxiety attacks or panic attacks and I would like feel like I left reality and I I would be aware of it I wasn't like psych psychosis or anything like that but I would feel like I was like out of body like I would look at my hands and I would feel like these aren't my own hands like I would look around and look at my environment and it would feel like I was in a dream and when that started happening I felt really crazy um, and then I found out that it's called derealization depersonalization <clears throat> and things were just getting really weird okay like when I say I didn't think that I was having depression or anxiety because I've been through it before but I hit a new level this time around okay um, I was losing my hair my skin was changing my face was changing I looked like a different person like to me especially like I looked dead I looked dead inside and I just didn't want to leave the house because I have these body image issues already and so when I started feeling like I didn't even look like myself like I was really struggling with that then to even like want to go around anyone or leave the house or be seen I started having like just it was just a spiral it was horrible it was literally the worst like I I was planning to kill myself like I didn't know how I was gonna do it I was like looking into how to get a gun I was like I would just envision like all the ways that I could make it happen and I was scared but I was like it's so sad because I feel like people that are suicidal like a lot of the time it's not that they want to die it's that they don't feel like they have another option because of the torture that they endure in their head all the time and they can't escape it they don't know how like they're not getting the help that they need they don't maybe don't even really realize like what's happening to them they just feel like i did like physically mentally spiritually like just lost confused just gone like separated from everything and like i feel like everything was like gray i was just like in a gray area of just like whoa i don't know what happened but like i'm not me this life that i'm living is not the life that i had like a year ago or like even six months ago i don't know what the fuck but i don't want to live this life and i got very suicidal like i was prepared to figure out a way to end my life and i wasn't sleeping at all i couldn't sleep and that was just like dragging me down even more every night that i didn't get sleep i was just like uh, a zombie and i one day i don't know but like my my doctor sat me down and was like listen i think you have ptsd i think that you have trauma do, have you been through something traumatic recently? And I, I was like, yeah. <laughs> and I don't know. It was like for the first time I decided to like accept like maybe, maybe they're right. Because multiple doctors had already told me that they think that I was like depressed. And I was like, duh, I know that I'm depressed. I know that I have anxiety, but like literally look at me. I'm dying like there's something wrong with me there's something physically wrong with me and I was so determined to figure out what was going on with me and my health that I kept not addressing the root problem which was I had a mental health crisis and I was going through it and I wasn't being medicated which thankfully I think that I'm kind of coming towards the end and I and I didn't have to be put on medication and I think I'm getting into therapy now and I'm working on my own things that I'm going to talk to you guys about at the end that might be helpful to 
anybody else that has gone through this. Um, this is a really long video, um, but I I finally accepted that like okay, I have gone every other avenue. I had an MRI done on my brain. I thought I had a brain tumor. I thought that I had I had so many blood tests. I had ultrasounds. I I literally was having the worst health anxiety. I thought that I was convinced that there was something wrong with me physically and I went every every other pathway, every blood test, everything, everything normal or pretty normal, nothing crazy. And nothing. And so I'm like here and he's asking me about trauma and I'm like it all just clicked and I kind of sat back and I'm like, I really need to get a grip over my mental health because clearly it's not the best. And like, if there is something physically wrong with me, regardless if it's been undiscovered, I need to get my mental health in check because like clearly that's suffering, like that's suffering through all of this. And it's something that I need to do for me to like, get in a better place and then if i still have something wrong then i'll figure it out but like i need to get my mind right because like i'm gonna literally kill myself if i don't like things are not going well right like i feel like looney tunes okay and i live alone my family's an hour and a half away so i was spending a lot of time alone like i was like this is not good i need to i need to get help i need to get help um so i i i finally just accepted and that first step of acceptance took a lot of like relief off but it didn't fix my problem it didn't really fully fix my problem i still couldn't sleep i was still having a lot of anxiety but it became the first stepping stone for me to become aware and having awareness Oh, it changed the game because I would realize when I would start getting dizzy and start feeling out of body and I would start feeling like my heart was going to melt out of my chest just like and I was going to die. I felt like I was having anxiety and I was having certain thoughts or stress that was going on, thoughts that were going on in my brain, I would like check myself and I'm like, whoa, how have I been going through life so subconsciously like holding my body like this all the time, my jaw like clenched all the time and it, and it was like, I was just becoming aware of the triggers and the responses in my body and trying to like correct it and trying to like be more sensitive to myself and be trying to like correct my thoughts and my patterns and like dive into my own psyche I guess and like I started meditating and and just trying to practice like I, I logged out of social media I stopped looking at my phone all the time because I was like this all day every day on my phone because I didn't go out and socialize in real life and I didn't want to do anything else because I felt like this is a good distraction but really it was like hurting me so like I I logged out of social media haven't been doing phone stuff as much limited screen time been practicing like sleep hygiene like just having like a better sleep routine to try to like get me better in a routine before bed, especially like not being on my phone at all before bed, meditating, you know, eating well, making it to the gym. That has been really big. And just like I said, having awareness of myself and kind of trying to touch back in with my spiritual stuff has been like really big at like giving me peace because it's just like, making me feel like I've gained something through all of the pain and that's wisdom and awareness of myself and for me I feel like <clears throat> ultimately I don't practice a religion or anything like that I'm spiritual and I feel like psychology 
equals spirituality to me like knowing yourself understanding your trauma your timeline and what made you become the way that you are and being able to have harness harness your emotions and know yourself better because when i say there's a lot of times in my life and i'm sure a lot of people are going about life dealing with their issues that they have whatever it may be and they don't even realize why or they don't have a good understanding of why and once you kind of become aware of yourself and your conscious mind and and you practice being in, in your conscious mind that is a spiritual experience like to know yourself and to realize your perspective and your reality um, your perception of everything is based on your your conscious mind and your subconscious mind and like you have more control over your life when you get out of your subconscious and you become more conscious, if that makes sense. And so I've been working on knowing myself, loving myself, and, and changing my reality because I do have that control. And, and it's not easy because it's, it's, it's practice, it's a practice. It's not something that comes overnight or all at once, but I definitely feel like I was going through some type of spiritual awakening and then I felt like I had like some type of ego death and I got stuck in it and my nervous system was stuck in fight or flight for like six months and I felt like I was dying, my identity was dying, I felt confused, I felt lost, I felt like physically, mentally, I felt like everything was dying. I felt like I was having an ego death. And then like something came back online when I started to learn acceptance and and it's coming back slowly. It's not like I said it's not all at once, but I feel like I am like feeling like I'm coming back into myself and my spiritual awakening that I was on and it's like oh my god and I've, I've read things and I've looked into things like you know because I when I started getting on this path you start digging for information wanting to know like what is happening to me and whatnot and this was before I fell into my depression and a lot of people that go through spiritual awakenings they start to like see things in a different way or around them. Something shakes their life up and puts them on a, a path of like awareness basically. And then like, they're like, wow, this is awesome. This is great. Things are going good. But then they start to realize that their old self is, is you're not that person anymore, but you don't really know who you are. And there's like this middle ground and a lot of people will fall into like a really dark place for a while and and just feel very lost over themselves and not really know like who they are and it's really depressing and you can't resonate with your old self and you don't yeah so like what I said <laughs> that I repeated like several times but basically a lot of people will fall into a depressive state for a while and then they come back and they're even more connected spiritually to themselves like they had to go through that like dark time to like gain additional understanding of themselves and I feel like that's like where I'm at like I'm I'm realizing like, whoa, it was all part of it. What the fuck? But yeah, basically, um, that's, that's what's been going on with me. And I feel like when you're in a really, really dark place, a lot of people, they just can't see out of it. And I couldn't either. I really felt like all things were turned off. Like there was a, a bunch of switches, like everything was offline. And I was like, 
I just don't see a point in any of this. I couldn't feel my emotions. I couldn't... I just felt like... Everything that I explained already in this video, but like... I really did not see that there was ever going to be a different... I was ever going to feel any different. Like, I felt like I was going to be stuck there forever. And... That's just never the truth. Like, you... you it's never the truth and it's never been the truth i've been through depression several times and i always come out and it's all in your mind it's all in your mind and you when you learn to harness your emotions and your thoughts and get aware everything changes like you realize whoa there's a life going on outside of me and I'm like having this fucking chaos and it's just right here in my head and there's nothing going on out here. I have everything in me to keep living the life that I want to live. I just have to live it and stop being stuck, stop roly pulling in on myself and just like release and let go let go of the things that I can't control because for me a lot of it was my body and what I was feeling and I, I was like literally feeling like I needed it to change right away and now I'm like if I let go my body will know what to do it will heal all the pain all the things my hair will grow back my skin will get better I will get stronger my, I, you know, all of these things, like my body, our bodies are incredible and they know what to do. You just have to give them the resources to do it. And being chronically stressed all the time will fuck your body up, okay? Like, I watch myself change so much because of the stress I was under and... I'm just determined to like release that and to heal and to have a glow up and to be rejuvenated again because for so long I just felt like my face was hanging off my face like my I felt like <sighs> all the time and to just be able to smile and get out of bed and make a juice and make a long ass video saying the same thing over and over and then share it with the world and then get ready to go to the gym it's just like wow i'm blessed i have another opportunity to live and i just want to give that message to anybody that is struggling like if you're struggling and you're in that really 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 dark place reach out for help and do what you can for yourself even when it's hard i couldn't get out of my bed like, some days I would lay in bed for days, um, and I was alone, and it was bad. It was really bad. It was a really, really dark place, but there is a something that will change you, and that is forcing yourself to do those things that you don't want to do, whether you need to get on medication or go to the therapist or get off your phone, get up, s like, sit in the sunlight meditate breathe go to the gym and be a monster at the gym burn off that adrenaline if you have anxiety burn it off at the gym because it makes a difference it it it, it releases endorphins it, the good things in your brain and it will make a big difference in your mood um just do those things and try to not get stuck in the loop of getting stuck in your thoughts like if you need to use distraction find healthy distraction get out go around people that care about you even when it when you don't want to keep practicing that be being aware of how you feel your body the sensations the thoughts and how they make you feel and the more you do that the better you're gonna feel and that's like the only advice that i have um is that you're gonna have to do something to get unstuck which is going to be really uncomfortable to give up the patterns and the habits that you had before but like 
it's what are you willing to do to be able to be the new you and giving up old things is the only way to leave that old you behind and to become the new you you have to give up you have to sacrifice and so and you're not going to be a victim either like you have to be strong you're a warrior so yeah i just wanted to say that so i love you guys i am thankful for anybody that has supported me um been there for me because i'm finally coming out of my depression and it feels really good it feels like something is like lifting i feel like the signals in my brain are turning back on and my i feel better i just feel like physically mentally spiritually i'm starting to see the light it's like i've been in this dark place but like i'm starting to see like little glimmers and i'm doing better than i was and i'm sleeping better and so i just i'm thankful and if anybody else has been on any kind of journey just know that we are all human and we are all just one calculation of life events and to practice empathy towards other people because you never know why they ended up the way that they ended up and to just be kind to everyone be kind to yourself be gentle to yourself and just fight for another day 